Okay, on this problem we're asked to use the shell method to find the volume generated by revolving the region bounded by x equal to 2 square roots y, x equals negative 0.2y, um, and y equals 10 about the x-axis. Okay, so I've got the region drawn here. Um, here's the line x equals negative 0.2y, so line segment here. Uh, would keep going down here, but it intersects here, so I stopped drawing it. If also, this is the line x is equal to um, 2 square roots of y, and then y is equal to 10. So this is the enclosed region here. Okay, so I've also got the formula that says use the shell method. Here's the shell method, and I've got it uh, with respect to y, uh, because all of our formulas are in the y, and because we are rotating around the x-axis, um, around this axis here. So when you use the cell method, um, if you're rotating around the x-axis or a horizontal axis, and then you're going to be integrating with respect to y. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and uh, figure out what we got here for our shell radius and our shell height. Um, our shell can be drawn here. Just, uh, just put some line here. We'll say that's our shell. Now imagine this line or this shell is getting rotated around the x-axis, which actually is what creates the shell. Okay, so rotate that around the x-axis there. So we need to figure out uh, what's what's the height of this. The height of it is going to be the distance between uh, this edge and this edge. Okay, and to figure that out, uh, the shell height, uh, we would subtract. Uh, this right function minus the left function. So the shell height is going to be 2 square roots of y minus this one. So minus negative 0.2y. Okay, so that ends up being 2 square roots of y plus 0.2y. Okay, that is your shell height. Your shell radius uh, is just your arbitrary distance from your axis of rotation. Uh, your axis of rotation, here's your x-axis, so how far is this red line to the x-axis? Well, we just drew a random red line there, so there's, you know, you can't really say what the exact distance there is. We'll, we'll say, it's, well, it's some arbitrary y value, just, just some distance y from that x-axis there. Okay, so your shell radius, we'll just say, is equal to y. So what, were our, what will our limits be? Okay, so since we are um, doing this with respect to y, we're going to need y limits. So look at the bottom and the top here on the y-axis. The bottom is 0. The upper part of that region is 10. So our limits will be 0 to 10. So our volume is equal to 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 10. Our shell radius is y. Our shell height is this one right here. So 2 square roots of y plus... 0.2y dy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and work on uh, this integral. Uh, first of all, uh, change this to y to the 1 half. So that's 2 pi 0 to 10 y times 2y to the 1 half plus 0.2y dy. Then distribute this y in there. So that would give you 2 pi 0 to 10 of 2y to the 3 halves, because you add a power, uh, plus 0.2y dy. Okay, and now we can integrate. Uh, leave the 2 pi out front. Okay, what happens when we integrate 2y to the 3 halves? Well, we add 1 to this power, and then we divide by whatever we get. So we'll add 1, um, which 1 is 2 over 2, so that would be 5 over 2. So we would get 2y to the 5 over 2, because you add 1 to that exponent. Whatever your new exponent is, you divide by that. Divide by 5 over 2. Okay, plus 0 0.2. Um, oh, made a mistake here, so I forgot to put the square there when I distributed the y. So let's fix that. So there we go. We got the square there when I distributed this y to 0 0.2y. So it would have been 0 0.2y squared. Good. So we fixed the mistake. We've got y to the add a power. So it's 3 divided by 3. Okay. And we're integrating from 0 to 10. Uh, let's clean that up a little bit algebraically. So 2 pi. Uh, let's see. It's flip that 2. So the top becomes a 4 over 5. 
Okay, and then we've got the square root of y to the fifth. And then over here, we've got 0 0.2 over 3 y cubed from 0 to 10. Okay, um, let's go ahead and input our limits there. You notice if you input the 0, the bottom limit, uh, nothing really happens because everything zeroes out, so I'm not going to bother with it. I'll just do the upper limit, so it's 2 pi. We've got 4 fifths square root of input our 10, our upper limit, to the fifth, plus 0 0.2 over 3, 10 cubed. Okay, and if you work all that out, uh, mathematically it is going to be a decimal because of this square root of 10 to the fifth, so you won't get a nice um, fractional answer. You will be left with either a decimal or a radical. Uh, it comes out to 2008.4 approximately, and that's it.